How's everybody doing? Mike here, the channel is Let's Turn 2, and today I thought we'd do something a little bit different, not opening any packs or boxes, but about 18 months ago or so, I made a video showing all of the autographs and relics that I had in my personal collection. That video did very well, it's one of my best performing in terms of the YouTube analytics that I have done in over two years of doing this channel, so I thought... Let's do an updated version of that. I'm not going to show those cards again. If you're interested in seeing them, it's still on my channel. You can go back and look when this one is over. But I have some cards here that I have gotten over the last, probably going back to the holidays. So I would say about eight, maybe nine months ago, or eight or nine months worth of opening. These are all cards that I would get out of packs. I don't buy cards individually. And by the way, all the cards that you see in that video, or if you've seen in that video like 18 months ago, I still own all of them. I am still yet to sell a card, so at some point I'll get to uh, the point where I'm willing to start moving, but just not there quite yet. So let's start here. This isn't going to be everything that I've opened over the last, you know, like I said, eight, nine months, but it is going to be a pretty good representation. I would say 80 plus percent of it, and I don't mean everything I've opened. I'm talking parallels numbered cards, autos, relics, that kind of thing. If I showed all the base, we'd be here forever. So, and remember, you know, YouTube, it's not my job. I'm not, uh, I don't own a card store or anything. I'm just an everyday collector like many of you. So, you know, there's no real like wow factor here, but these are cards that I do really enjoy. So, uh, one thing I do when I open flagship tops, meaning series one, two, and update, is I will put all of the numbered cards or parallels to the side just of the base flagship top so none of the inserts are going to be in here but we start with the retail blues matt olson ozzy albies uh, you see owen miller there matt strom strom stadium pulls these are exclusive jose abreu to retail which is why there aren't as many as of them as there are these rainbow foils because you can find these in both hobby and retail yadi molina there very nice patrick wisdom cardinals playing a four-game series this weekend in Chicago, Wrigley Field, always a big rivalry, so that's pretty cool. And in fact, there's a Cubs team card there in the rainbow foil, Corey Seager, Nick Senzel, Reds have cooled off a little bit here, now in second place in the central. And here's some numbered cards. So these purples are to $7.99, got a Suarez and an Inglesias. We've got a Severino to $9.99, very nice. These golds will be to 2023, it's whatever year you're in. So George Springer, David Bednar, got this card on the channel. So very recently, in fact, maybe I think even yesterday. So the Gold Cup, Spencer Strider to $1.99, really nice card. So let's now go into, these are going to be all numbered cards, not from 2023 Series 1. So going to see a bunch of, or not a bunch, but a number of releases here, and you're going to see back half is going to be a lot of Donruss, not because I've opened a lot of this year's Donruss, but they are just so generous with their numbered cards and parallels that it just, it really starts to add up. So Tony Gonsolin from last year's tops, Blake Snell from Heritage, you got Keston Hira, Luisa Rise, it's looking like it's going to be tougher and tougher for him to hit 400 this year. And, you know, rightfully so. I don't think... When was the last time someone hit 400? It's been at least, what, 40, 50, if not more years? Now, look at this. The rest of this is all Donruss. So, we start with a couple of Nolan Ryans, George Brett, The Unleashed, Jackson Cheerio, top prospect there with uh, Milwaukee. I just love that card. So cool. You got the Jordan Lawler to 100, Don Sutton to 91, Kyle Harrison... Giants top prospect, and uh, I don't know if he'll be up sometime this year, but certainly next year, left-handed starting pitcher, really excited for him. I really hope he's considered an untouchable and the Giants don't even think about trading him here at the, uh, at the deadline as they look for upgrades for their playoff push, but I don't think they would because, again, he is their number one overall prospect, but Daniel Espina, Simmons, Enos Slaughter... Duke Snyder, I got this on camera and was kicking myself after the video that I did not make this the video's best catch because it is numbered to only 50. We got some rated prospects here in Brendan Davis, Elijah Green, Diego Cartea, 
And we end Mr. 3000 robbing you out. So very cool. Now let's go in to the main course, the autographs and relics. We're just going to start with some of the manufactured relics from blaster boxes of tops. The Father's Day, Jose Ramirez, Paul Goldschmidt. Again, we're back to Donruss now with Tyler Soderstrom, just called up by the A's here not too long ago. Jordan Lawler from Arizona. This one goes back to, to the end of last year, so this is probably one of the older, actually now that I see it, these are probably three of the older cards that you're going to see in this video. We've got out of opening day from last year, this is the Tiger mascot. These are really hard to pull. I forget what the odds were, but it was one in several hundreds of packs, and it's numbered only 99, so really cool card there. From last year's Chronicles, Jacoby Jones, nice uh, dual patch there. And then out of Capstone, which I really liked Capstone last year. They, you know, again, very generous with the hits. And Alec Manoa, jumbo patch of the jersey with the sticker auto. He's having a rough year, but still young enough, talented enough. I really think he's going to turn things around. So let's just continue right along here. We've got some, what was this, the USA Baseball? I think I've only opened one box of this, so... Whatever I have of, of this release, it would have been on camera. So this is a Cade Town, Townsend out of 250, a relic there, very nice. Out of Allen and Ginter, Charlie, Black, Charlie Blackburn. We've got a Glenn Auto, not an autograph, but a relic. That from, was this from Chronicles? I believe so. Really nice. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton with the pinstripe there from last year's Allen and Ginter. And here we go. So here's the other... Uh, USA, Team USA, or Stars and Stripes, I guess, is technically the release. The autograph of Owen Pano. And then from Heritage Minor Leagues, Robert Campos, Maximo Acosta. So these, the, the Heritage Minor Leagues and the uh, Pro Debut, these would also be some of the older that we're going to see in this video. I think these probably came out, what, maybe September, October of last year. So now we're with Pro Debut, Colin Burns. Norby, Tovar, Vivas, Steven Machado, Jose Torres, Alberto Rodriguez, Matt Frazier, Cal Conley. All right, we're back into Capstone with the Zach Rex autograph there. All right, starting to, starting to run short on room here off to the left side of the camera. But all right, we continue forward with another. This is a Topps Holiday autograph. We all know how hard... It can be to get autographs with Holiday. They guarantee a hit per box. It's retail only, but probably, what would we say, 19 out of 20 are going to be relics. So a Brendan McKay rookie card auto there. Opening act autograph out of Big League, Bryce Johnson. As a Giants fan, I really like that card. And then we see Mason Thompson from Stadium Club. A couple of, or I guess, a uh, Bowman first auto there of, I'm not even sure how you say that last name. Mosaic Scripts, Dylan Coleman, Opening Day, Luis Severino. We've got a Dick Hall there from Archives. That's one of those, you know, fan favorites autographs. Very nice. You got the Casey Mize, Cal Mitchell, Derek Hall, out of Chrome, Jesse Winker. Another Capstone hit, Jose Miranda. Again, I didn't open a lot of Capstone, but we're seeing a lot of capstone hits here because i think i got like every box i got something seth beer on the optic stadium club chrome on the montero dylan coleman all right we're back into the pro debut but these will be numbered so or the parallels but i believe they're all numbered as well they are this one to 50 of mojica and then dalen lyle i know i got this one on camera the luke voigt stadium club Autograph. This was numbered to 25. Ruenzi Contreras out of fire. Got that on camera, I know. A mosaic. Another Ruenzi Contreras. This out of mosaic. Out of scripts. Another Ruenzi Contreras. So, same thing, just one is a parallel. With these being the $17 on clearance at Walmart, I've definitely opened more mosaic than I ever opened over the last like month or so. Burt Blylevin from Heritage. And then we end with a Max Meyer Team USA, really cool jumbo patch, and that is an autograph up there at the top. This was numbered, it's numbered somewhere, oh, there it is, numbered to 99. So 
All right, folks, that was it. Again, maybe not everything over the last eight, nine months, but a very good representation of my collection. Can't forget, this was also on the channel about a month ago, the Bobby Witt Redemption that I got from Tops out of a mystery tin from MJ Holdings. So I'll go ahead. This, this card has been on the, the channel a few times now. One last time, why not? We'll make it the video's best catch. Share, like, subscribe. I appreciate everyone watching. Leave in the comments what your favorite cards are that you've gotten, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care.